Trains have come a long way over the years and today we're looking at one of the biggest technological innovations transforming the railway. Welcome to Tracks to Tomorrow and on this episode we're looking at how Thameslink are rolling out new digital signalling technology, what it means for the people behind the scenes and how it's helping shape the future of travel. So let's get started. ETCS, European Train Control System, is an innovative technology which improves how train services operate by creating more capacity for extra trains to run, making the railway safer by reducing risk of human error and improving reliability. It is based around digital signalling and Thameslink and Great Northern are leading the way with its implementation. With the help of industry partners such as Network Rail and Siemens, since 2018 it's been in operation on the busiest part of Thameslink, known as the core. It has been recently implemented on the Finsbury Park to Moorgate section of Great Northern, known as the Northern City Line, and is currently being expanded across the East Coast Main Line in a scheme known as the ECDP, the East Coast Digital Programme. It's been a really exhilarating project, it really has. It's a new technology introduction from a railway's point of view. Um, whilst we have some experience of it and we can lean on uh, European experience over the years, we are in a position where there's a lot of learning to be done as an industry. And whilst it, it seems like the technology's been around for quite a long time now, um, it's very much in an evolutionary process and the technology um, is moving with the advancements of day-to-day -day technology. ERTMS gives the ability to provide a far more simple trackside infrastructure. What it enables us to do as an industry is provide resilience when it comes to um, failures because there is a lot less equipment that's provided at trackside. Well, now that we understand just how ERTMS works, I'm gonna try it for myself. Don't worry, I'm not being trusted to drive a train just yet. This is very much a simulator. Finn's in the other room. He's gonna guide me through it and hopefully ensure a smooth journey. Yeah, so this, this simulator in particular, we have one here and one at Three Bridges um, in the Siemens facilities. Uh, they came, I would say, around 2015, just before the trains got introduced. Uh, and they are a fundamental part of our driver training program as well as our ERTMS training programs. Okay, so where we go. You'd think that you'd push forward to accelerate, but you're actually pulling back to accelerate and pushing forward to brake, which is ever so slightly confusing. We're going past our first train of the day. Hello, sir. What are these levels I'm looking at, Finn? I'm looking at 4,000, 2,000, 1,000 and 500. So they are the distance that the train is allowed to go. So we can scale that anywhere up to, I believe, 32,000 metres if you so wish, which is probably useful for high speed trains, not so much for 30 mile an hour through the middle of London. But they show you the distance you're allowed to travel and you can see in front of you that blue box is coming, is reducing in scale. That means our authority is running out, so we're going to have to stop again soon. So we're currently around 250 metres left that you're allowed to travel. Gone too early, haven't I? Just a little bit. So we aim to stop around 20 metres from an end of authority or a red signal. Yeah, that's pretty good. No racking this. <laughs> it gets, you get, the more you do it, the better you get. Well, that was certainly interesting, wasn't it? Time now to see the real deal. I'm going to go catch up with driver Rich and we're going to see ERTMS in action. So I am a testing commissioning driver here at GTR. My role is multifaceted. I am involved in training the drivers or testing the ETCS and testing new trains with this system. So you've got the radio, radio block centre icon here, that means we're connected. The train and the radio block centre are talking to each other constantly. Other trains are talking to the radio block centre as well and they're all doing a load of calculations behind the scenes to keep us safe and to keep, keep the trains moving. Driver, you have reset the DRA. Please check the signal. 
at the moment, drivers can work to many different signaling systems and that could be across their journey maybe over a two, three, four hour time period. That could be confusing, quite fatiguing at times. This will bring a standardised approach to, to rules and how they operate the train. As a driver, it helps me because I know exactly where my red signals are. There's no chance that I can get them uh, wrong. And as a driver, we call that a read across or a read through. Also, we have our permanent speeds, permanent speed restrictions embedded in the system and emergency and temporary speeds. So there was no chance that we could get those um, we could get those wrong they're always fed into the system and they are visible to us we don't have to guess where these emergency speeds are maybe for a track renewal or a problem with the track it will tell us yeah i absolutely love being part of the east coast digital program and the etcs rollout i get to see day in day out the safety benefits for the driver, for the train crew, for the uh, passengers and customers. Using the technology hasn't changed how I drive my train, but it has brought a, a, a more simple approach to how I gather my information. So it's clear that ERTMS is a major step forward, not just for the railway staff, but the customers too. In our next episode, we'll look at how the technology is improving passenger journeys from reliability to speed and everything else in between. We'll see you then.